live, local, late breaking. This is KOCO 5 News at 5 with Jessica Shambach, Paul Folger, and Chief Meteorologist Damon Lane. We continue to follow our big story. Tens of thousands of teachers marching on our state capitol. Well, many of them traveling from their hometowns in buses. KOCO's Abigail Ogle covering this for us tonight from the state capitol. And Abigail, some teachers traveled hours to get there today. Boy, they sure did, Paul and Jess. We saw so many buses bring in loads of teachers, students and parents, not just teachers, supporters for our educators and also those state employees. We saw chartered buses come in all the way as far as Enid, Tulsa, Woodward, Guymon, Ulagatalala, literally every corner of the state of Oklahoma. Even in these cold temperatures, people stood outside waiting to talk to lawmakers, asking them to fund education. Busloads and busloads keep coming. Um, the parking lot here at the Capitol is already full. This is what democracy looks like. Union leaders with the Oklahoma City American Federation of Teachers, AFT, have been saying they plan to walk out again tomorrow. And that decision leading several districts again to close on Tuesday. Oklahoma City, Edmond, Middale, Norman, all to cancel class. And I want to point out teachers and, and support staff from really all different areas of studies and all different levels were here at the Capitol. Teachers from elementary, middle, junior high, high school, even special education. I want to get to KOCO's Mecca Rain, who joins me live at a different area of the Capitol. And Mecca, you spoke to a special ed teacher who says she needs funding for her classroom now more than ever. Yeah, Abby, that's exactly right. Her students desperately need to get their hands on current curriculum and up-to-date technology. Their future depends on it. And she was proud to stand right back there earlier today with thousands of other educators who feel the exact same way. She teaches special ed in... Uh -huh. um, at just 10 years old, Ariana Lewis understands exactly what her grandma does for a living. And she's learning how important grandma's job really is. And that job is teaching students with disabilities. But she says her job is harder than it should be because of the lack of funding. They do need technologies. They do need updated materials so that they can access the same information. And the funding hasn't been there in forever. Telling KOCO she tries to come up with creative ways to ensure her kids stay current and competitive. I with the ideas about figuring out how we could do books on tape and how I could turn text into reading stuff, but I don't have the money for the materials. Explaining the future can already be difficult for special ed students. They can get access to that education. We have got, um, the statistics are horrible at how many kids with disabilities end up in prison or they're unemployed or underemployed. Saying this march is for the young people, kids now, future leaders later if they get the education they so desperately need. And that family tells me they believe they are truly making a difference and they plan to be right back out here tomorrow morning. Paul and Jess? Like so many others, Mecca, thank you. I want to take you back out live to Sky 5, flying over our state capitol right now. It looks a lot different than it did this morning, but many of those teachers that walked out today have taken on second jobs to help supplement their income. One of them even donating his plasma to help make ends meet. We're going to bring you that story coming up tonight at 6 o'clock as we continue our live team coverage. Now, your first alert forecast, certified most accurate. Well, Oklahoma.